guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that is very, very, very requested, and it's a favorite products video. And I just quickly want to mention that everything that I am going to be mentioning in this video is, I'm not saying they're my favorites because I've been paid to say that, or because this company sponsored me, or because of anything like that. These are all products that I've spent my own money on, that in using them and in using other brands and doing comparisons, I just personally, for one reason or another, think it they're better. And so I'll go through why I like each product as I go along, but I just wanted to mention that first so that nobody gets the wrong idea here. That is not the case. So first I'm going to start out by saying that if anyone asks me what my favorite brand is for nail products, I will almost always say Koopa. Um, a lot of people haven't heard of Koopa, not many people use Koopa. Frankly, I don't know why because their products are phenomenal. I have gotten the salon that I work in to use their products. I, in just what I've used, I really like Koopa's products. And just to go over a couple of the different items that they that I've used from them, of my favorites, I'm just gonna go through a couple different things. Um, their clear acrylic, that is my favorite clear, clear acrylic. I've used a couple different brands. Um, the reason I like this one is it's a little thicker. It's got a little bit more density to it. Um, compared to, I'm just going to use CND because a lot of people have used CND so they know um, just as a comparison. It has, it, it's much thicker. It's more clear. It just, it's a little easier to use in general. It's just, it, that's the one thing. And it also seems like it doesn't lift at all, which is amazing. So if you're using um, clear acrylic to do fills, this is a really good one to try. I do fills on my grandmother every two weeks like clockwork. And she is a person that always has lifting, just in general. She's just one of those people that lifts, which I think is something in our, genet in our genetics because so am I and so is my mother and my sister and we all just seem like we're people that lift. But this Koopa acrylic on her specifically, I actually, I don't do many fills. So in this general thing, I'm not, you know, I don't do that many, so, but she has no lifting. It's amazing. At the first time I redid them, I was just looking at them, I was like, I don't know what happened. And then I, re I realized I switched to using Koopas instead of previously I was, I was using CND. So Koopa clear acrylic, absolute favorite. Like I said, I've used CND and some other brands. This one always comes back. I'm always in love with it. So that's my favorite clear acrylic from Koopa. Uh, the next thing from Koopa that I really love is their gel base coat for the exact same reason as their clear acrylic. It really prevents peeling and everything. It just holds on really, really tight. The one thing, um, and they did switch this recently, but previously their gel base coat cured for a minute and a half, it cured 90 seconds, and an LED light, which took forever, and you're sitting there like, this is base coat, this should not take this long. But it's now 30 seconds, so it's not that case anymore. I was gonna mention that, but then I just got a new bottle and I realized that they switched the formulation a little bit, and now it's 30 seconds. Still works just as well. I still love it, but yeah. So I love their gel base coat. That's my favorite gel base coat, and they have my favorite matte gel top coat. And the reason that it's my favorite is because it doesn't have a tacky layer and it's more matte than others. Sometimes I think a matte gel top coat has a more of a satin finish than like a true, a true matte. Whereas theirs is a true matte. So it looks, it's like a paper finish and it doesn't have that, that tacky layer to get rid of, which is really nice for doing nail art. That's got bumps and ridges and things because getting rid of the tacky layer on all of that is very difficult to do sometimes. The one downfall with their matte top coat is that it can cause heat spikes. And I don't know why their matte top coat does this exactly. Um, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really sure why that is. It's only for like a second, but if you're somebody that's prone to heat spikes, that might be a reason this is not a product for you. But for doing it on top of 3D stuff, I highly recommend it. Koopa also has my favorite sculpting acrylic brushes. I have two of them. I have a 10 and a 10 and an eight, and I use them for everything. They are super durable. The eight I've had for a couple years and it's held up beautifully. I just got the 10 because I'm branching into using bigger brushes. I've always used an eight for as long as I can remember. Now I have a 10 and it feels huge to me, which a lot of people use like a 16 and I'm thinking to myself, how can you do this? Um, that is the one thing though about their brushes is they don't go up to a super, a super big size. So if you do love a, a really nice big brush, probably you're not going to find one that you love, but I love their brushes. They have a really nice cover on them. Like I said, they hold up nice. It's an entirely metal handle, which means that the monomer is not going to erode it and get it all weird and sticky looking. So that's really great. I, like I said, favorite, favorite acrylic brushes are going to be Koopas. And the last thing that's my favorite from Koopa is going to be their e-file, not necessarily their bits, 
Um, cause bits I have found, I've liked some that are just off of Amazon better. But as far as the actual e-file goes, I really do like Koopas. I have the Manny Pro Passport. I've used it for, I want to say about two years and it's, it's held up beautifully. It's rechargeable. The battery charge holds for way longer than they advertise. I'm very happy with it. I don't have much experience with e-files as far as other brands go, so I guess as far as a, this is my absolute favorite compared to 16 other brands, I can't really do that. But I have, I can say that it, it has served me very, very well and it's, it's really nice and I am very happy with it. So that is my favorite stuff from Koopa, which I know, like I said, I said my favorite, favorite brand, so there's a lot there. And so I just gonna, we're done with that one. So now the next thing that I wanna say is my favorite is Young Nails Metallic uh, uh, polymers. They're a metallic collection of their acrylic powder. Is amazing. I, you guys have seen me use the gold and the bronze constantly and a lot of people are like, man, you really like that bronze color. It's gorgeous. So Young Nails Metallic Collection is definitely like a top of my list must have because it's, it's stunning. And there's, I have the bronze, the gold, and the silver. And I don't know if they have any other ones, but I know that they have those three and I use them constantly and they're, they're beautiful. Okay, so that's the next thing. Uh, the next one on the list is Madame Glam's gel polish, their gel color. Uh, that's going to be my favorite kind of gel polish for reasons. It cures really well, it stays really well on the nail, it removes super easy. The colors, most of them are extremely pigmented and cover in one coat, and sometimes they do take two, but a lot of times one coat and they're good. So I really like Madame Glam's gel color. The one thing that I don't necessarily love about Madame Glam is that the brush seems a little bit big, so on certain clients, it's a little bit wider than their nail is, so you have to kind of carefully, very carefully paint. But in general, I think they have some of the best gel polish available. For regular nail polish, this one is always surprising to people when I say this because I've been asked a lot when I, before I started doing so much acrylic, but back when, when I was doing just a lot of hand painting, a lot of people, well, what's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite kind of nail polish? Sinful Colors. I have always loved Sinful Colors. I have almost every single color of Sinful Colors. I, if you look at my, my totes of nail polish, 95% is Sinful Colors. I love them because they're inexpensive and high quality, both, which is something that is not necessarily an easy combo to find. I think they cover really well. They have, um, they are cruelty free, which is awesome if you are somebody that that makes a difference to, which I am, and so I'm very happy about that. And it's just, they're accessible, so that's why Simple Colors is my favorite. And I've also had really good luck with them not staining. So going back to, they don't seem to stain very much, especially like the blues and the greens that sometimes will definitely stain. I feel like I have better luck with their colors, even, I have a couple OPI colors that I just dread using because I know they're gonna stain immediately. So I like my Simples. Okay, let me, I have a little note if you're wondering what on earth it is I'm doing. I have, I have lots of notes. <laughs> I have my whole thing on a list here. Okay, and then the last thing on the list, yay, is the, uh, my favorite kind of acrylic paint that I use because um, I use acrylic paint for all sorts of stuff. My favorite acrylic paint, paint is Americana. And the reason that is my favorite is because it is pretty thin. So I know folk art is one that a lot of people say that they like to use. Um, I think it's really thick. I think it's kind of chunky. And when you paint a design on a nail and then you put top coat on it, it's not gonna be smooth because the thickness of the paint is going to leave these bumps and ridges across the nail. No fun. So I like Americana because it does have the pigmentation that covers in one or two coats pretty much guaranteedly. And it's very thin and it's just easy to work with on nails specifically. So that is my favorite, my favorites list. If you're watching this and you're like, oh, I was really hoping what your favorite, whatever it is, was. And if I didn't mention it, that's simply because I don't have something that I think is that great that it needs to be mentioned. Um, so I didn't mention, there's definitely categories in there. I didn't say anything about dipping powder as far as my favorites goes because I'm not happy with any of them. It's kind of my, I love dipping powder. I think it's a great product. I just haven't found the one that works best for me. That's kind of my, my thing. So I've been switching around and I've been, I've used a lot of them. We have uh, the salon I work in, we have four brands and I just haven't found one that I think is the absolute best. So that's why I haven't mentioned that. And there was, there's definitely other things I didn't, I didn't mention that I use a lot just because I don't have a favorite. So 
I just wanted to go over that. I And one thing I do want to mention is I am planning on trying out Koopa's dipping powder. So if you're like, well, why didn't you say about Koopa's? I haven't tried it yet. That is on my uh, list of things to do. So if I do try Koopa's and I'm like, this stuff is finally, I finally found my favorite, I will let you guys know that. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, so who knows? And theirs is also different because it cures, which is, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna try it eventually, so I'll let you know what I think at that point. But otherwise, if I haven't mentioned something, it's because I don't have a out and out favorite. I hope this helped you helped you guys out. If you have any questions about any of the products I mentioned, definitely ask me. Uh, I would love to help everyone find a favorite product of every single category, including myself. And I know that sometimes it's really hard, and you don't want to purchase something and find out it sucks. That's really aggravating when that happens. I know I've done that. I've gotten something, been really excited, and then used it and been like, wow, this is the worst thing I've ever tried. So I'm trying to prevent that for some of you. I hope you guys really found this helpful, and don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little bell to see all my future videos as well.